Never Stop Learning, week 246. We're going to take a quick look at the Magic Eraser tool in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. All right, so the way I activate the tool is I hold down the Shift key and hit the E key a couple times until I get this look here. It's like a black eraser with some magic happening around it. Now, the way the tool works is just click on your image and it's going to extract the color range. So it's like the opposite of the paint bucket tool. Now, if you notice, it didn't get rid of the entire blue sky, uh, but we have some options over at the top that's going to help us out with that. So I'm going to undo this change by hitting Command Z and then head over to the top. Now, over on the left, this is where we're going to manage our tool presets. Once we get this tool working exactly how we want, just click on this icon and you're going to create a new tool preset. And that's going to allow you to use that tool again and again in the future. Next, we have Tolerance. By default, it's set to 32. So if I click on here, I'm actually clicking on a specific pixel. Photoshop's going to analyze it and then get rid of the pixels that fall within a 32 tolerance. So we're actually defining a color range. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to bring the tolerance down pretty low. Four looks good. I'm going to click on the sky and notice we're removing less. So when we have a low tolerance, we have a smaller color range. All right, I'm going to undo that. Now let's do the opposite. I'm going to increase this tolerance somewhere around 90 is going to be good. I'll click on the sky and now we're able to remove the entire blue sky. All right, because we have a high tolerance, we're working with a larger color range. All right, I'm going to undo that. Next feature I want to take a look at is this guy here. It deals with the edges. Uh, it smooths the edge uh, transitions for you. It's already turned on by default. When I click on the sky, notice we have a smooth transition over here with our subject. All right, I'm going to undo that. When I turn this feature off and then remove the sky, I'm going to have more of a rigid edge. So for some workflows and some outputs, this is going to be really important. I'm going to undo that. By default, it's already turned on. And in my workflow, I like to leave it turned on and then I'll turn it off whenever I need to. Next, we have this feature here. This is going to erase only contiguous pixels. All right, so right now it's turned on. When I click on it, it gets rid of the entire sky, except for this portion right in here because it's protected by these green pixels. So when we're talking about contiguous, we're talking about like neighboring pixels. All right, I'll show you what I mean. Let's uh, undo that. Let's turn this feature off. Now when I click on the sky, because that feature is off, I'm removing the blue from the entire image. So I got rid of the blue that was protected by this green edge, and I even got rid of some more blue from our subject's hair. All right, so let me zoom out and undo that change. All right, the next feature we have is going to be uh, this guy here, use merge data to determine the areas to erase. Now, when I turn this feature on, let's say I had three layers to make up this background. Well, with this feature turned on, I'm able to target all three of those layers. When I turn this feature off, I'm just targeting one layer at a time. All right, next we have opacity, and we've had opacity set to 100 the entire time. So when I click on a pixel, it's going to remove that color range, and it's going to remove it completely. When I undo that, let's uh, back off on the opacity. I'll bring in a low value, and then click in my sky. Now we're going to partially remove those pixels. All right, let's undo that. Now to reset the tool, just right click over here, choose reset. And it's going to bring everything back to how it was by default. All right, so I want to set this tool up to extract the entire sky. Over here for tolerance, I'm going to go with 90. And for the edges, I'd like a smooth edge, so I'm going to leave that there. This next one over here for contiguous, I actually want to remove this sky from the entire image. So I'm going to turn that feature off. Because I'm just working with a single layer, this doesn't really matter, but I'm going to leave this guy turned off. And I want those uh, pixels to be completely removed, so I'm going to leave opacity set to 100%. Now I'm ready to click on my sky, and with a single click, I was able to extract the entire sky from this image. All right, so there are other tools to use that are probably going to have more power behind them, like masks. Uh, but I'm working with some low-res images, and I'm just trying to mock things up at the moment. So this is going to work out really well for me. I'm going to jump over to this other image here, go into the layer menu, duplicate layer. And what I want to do is bring it into the document that I've been working with this whole time. All right, it's at the top of the stack if you look over on the left in the layers panel. So I'm going to hit command shift left bracket so I can send it to the bottom of the stack. And this looks like it's going to work out great. So this is going to work out for a mock-up 
Or at this point, I determined that like I do like the sky, I do like uh, the subject jumping. So now I could go and purchase the high res version and then maybe use something like a mask. All right, so remember the magic eraser tool is gonna help you extract a large color range from your image. And there you have it folks. That's a quick look at the magic eraser tool in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.